Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the very first Nico Plays. That's right, I've decided to go ahead and start my own video game series on YouTube. I love playing video games, I love watching other people play video games, I love talking about video games, so I figure, why not? If everybody else can do it, so can I. So, I figured with the very first, very first episode of my series that I would do, I would go back to the very first video game that I ever played in my entire life, a long, long time ago in an arcade far, far away, an eight-year-old kid with a quarter in his hand and nothing better to do but to put it into a machine, decided that he was going to walk up to a Pac-Man stand-up and blow his mind. I, I absolutely remember all the times as a kid when I would ever go out and honestly try to hunt these down everywhere I could possibly find. Pac-Man would always be my go-to. Uh, as the years went on, it would become bigger and better games. Galaga uh, would be one that I always went to. Tron, which is my absolute favorite. Uh, Space Invaders was always a good one. Up into Spy Hunter and any any amount of games that I will probably wind up thinking up later. But the first that I've always come back to is Pac-Man. And this one just came available on the PlayStation Store. Uh, I am playing this on a PS4. And I f had to have it. I, I already own this game uh, on six different consoles uh, in probably seven or eight different versions uh, that I've ever played. So I'm going to play this one. Uh, I've already played a little bit of it, so some of the nostalgia factor has worn off. So I'm not going to be as giddy as I was the first time I played it, but uh, we're definitely going to have some fun with it, and maybe I can expound some history on you as we go. So let's go ahead and get into this, see what happens. And of course, this is set up like the old sit-down machines. I... Uh, Always loved trying to find these anywhere I could, uh, especially in a, a pizza place we have in Indiana called Pizza King. Uh, I don't know if uh, many people outside of Indiana have heard it or not, but uh, it is definitely the best pizza that you can get anywhere in the world. But every time I find one, they always want to try to... I always want to try to rake you for 50 cents a play, which I always think is ridiculous, because 50 cents to play Pac-Man is, is just dumb. This is a quarter machine. It always has been, it always will be. But, you know, times are changing, I suppose. Those sounds are amazing. I'm definitely going to have to turn my sound down on the headphones a little bit. Oh. There we go. So yeah, good old Pac-Man. The ever-running yellow pizza pie that is constantly trying to pick up power pellets. I don't know. I, I saw a... Uh, I saw an internet meme the other day about how Pac-Man is a neurotic nut job that needs to eat his pills in order to keep sane because the ghosts are all in his head, which I, I love that idea of Pac-Man needing to eat his pills to, to get rid of his ghosts. <sighs> And there you go, I'm dead. That's it. So, that's the end of the video, and, uh, <laughs> no, no, we'll, we'll go ahead and play another one. Now, I, usually the first couple of plays, I am just crap. Uh, uh, very sorry for anybody that thought I was some elite gamer. I'm definitely not. I, I have some days I have my good days, and some days I have my bad days. So we get back into it. But I was sitting here thinking the other day about all the versions of Pac-Man that I've ever played. Uh, definitely the 
arcade version. Which this, even though it looks like the arcade version, this is not the arcade version that I remember. The ghosts move different. Uh, it just, it feels different. Uh, it's, it's definitely a port. It is not 100% true to the arcades. And the reason that I know that is that as soon as the, as soon as the game starts, that red ghost, he, he moves the wrong way. He, he has always gone up the side and made a certain pattern that, that I have memorized over the years. And he just does not do that in this game. And it, it bugs me just a little bit. But, you know, I can, I can get over it, I think. usually always have blue one. But see, we'll watch the watch the red one as he goes up. He goes to the right. But see, he doesn't do that. But every, every, all the times I remember when he would go up, he would go up and he would go straight across. And it, it's a nitpicky thing. And it may not even be me. I my memory may be bad. I've I've taken several hits to the head over the years. So you never know. And I'm getting very forgetful in my old age. I may get a trophy for that. Nope. Now they've added they've added trophy sport into this game where you actually get a trophy for every one of the fruit, which is amazing. I like that. I think that's a very cool idea. It surprised the hell out of me the first time I did it. Pinky got me. What a jerk. It's always either that that green bastard, or it's the orange bastard. I called him blue before, now he's green. It's my world, I live in it, shut up. Get him! I always try to go for maximum points whenever I play this game, which means I have to go... Ooh, I have to try to get as many of the ghosts as possible. Good. Extra life. Oh, 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 no, no. But I was thinking the other day of uh, all the versions of this game that I've played. I've, of course, there's Pac-Man, and I've played Mrs. Pac-Man, uh, Mrs. Crackman, which is the the Mrs. Pac-Man that you know is is like three times speedier than any other Pac-Man you can find. Usually those are the best, because those are the ones that you can really, really kill at. Well, like I said, a high score. Cool. <clears throat> but then there was the the baby Pac-Man, which, if I remember right, that came with the pinball console underneath it. It's like you would get to a certain point, and then you would get to play pinball. I don't... Again, I don't know if that was a true thing or not. Uh, my brain is not the best anymore. Uh, I remember, definitely remember Super Pac-Man because there was a there was a bar that my stepdad used to take me to, and I know saying that now that seems like the most horrible thing in the world. Oh my God, you were a kid going into a bar? Yeah, well, you know, back in the '80s, it wasn't wasn't that big of a deal, but. Uh, there was a super pack stand-up machine that I would absolutely crush at. It was uh, one of those where you would get this super power pellet, and there were these edible walls that you could get, or that you could go through, that would create these shortcuts. And I will always remember that game. That was that was always one of my favorites. I've I've put a lot of quarters into that. Um, and I know there were several other versions. There was a 3D version. I don't know if that one ever went to the arcades. I know that is on several of the platforms that I have. Um, I would especially say that it was it was on the the version that I got for the PS1. I don't remember if it was on the one that I had for the PS2 or not. I'd have to look at that. But then there were 
of course, it's Pac-Man. There, there are so many different versions of this game, and, and it's... Again, it's been one of those that I've always come back to and I've always loved. Um, at one point in time, I actually put Pac-Man... What am I doing? I actually put Pac-Man on the top of my greatest games of all time. Um, right up there underneath Galaga, as a matter of fact. Which tells you how truly old school I am. I always love my 80s games. Hopefully I can clear this out. This game gets very stressful after a while. And then good old cutscenes. I think this may be the first time I've seen a cutscene in this game. Super pack. <laughs> hey, look, I got a trophy. Should get a trophy for that one too. Yep. I love that man. Those are just easy trophies. I, you know. Oh, the other version of the game that I played uh, was the um. I don't. Oh, it wasn't the remix. It was the um. The new one that they just did for the PS3. That was the. Um, I don't want to say Pac-Man DX. It was some kind of championship edition. Uh, that one was absolutely amazing. It was it was set up like it was set up that the the power pellets you had to follow them in a certain pattern, and the more pellets you ate, the faster you would go, and you would accumulate ghosts behind you as you went, and it would eventually become this insane maze runner game that you would have where you would get all these these you know regular pellets and then you would get this one power pellet that would absolutely dominate all of the ghosts that you've been trailing behind you for however long you've been that if i can i want to try to record a video of that that was that was without a doubt one of the coolest ways that you could ever play pac-man i absolutely love that one Sounds haunt my dreams sometimes. <laughs> I'm actually playing on the D-pad right now. I'm not using sticks. Sticks seem sticks seem to work pretty well. They uh they feel kind of loose to me. I don't know. I I've had I guess you could say I've had better better versions of the games where the sticks work better. I know that. Uh, the first version of the game that I had for home was on my Atari 2600. And, of course, everybody knows that is the infamous Pac-Man game that looks and plays almost absolutely nothing like the original Pac-Man. Um, even though I loved it, that was... That was one of the few times when I could say that I absolutely loved an Atari game so much that I would just sit at home and play it for hours and hours and hours. That was when I used to trick my grandma on. Uh, she would sit down and, and, you know, try to play video games with me, you know. And poor old woman, I would always tell her to go chasing after the ghosts whenever she didn't have a pellet. But, uh, yeah, well, there you go. I think... That's a good number to end on, 6,660. So, uh, with that, there you go. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I definitely thank you if you watched it. If you liked, if you liked it, if you liked anything I had to say, you know, feel free to like it. Uh, subscribe, because we're going to be posting a lot more videos coming up here. But, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you guys take it easy, and uh, see you later.